What's your favorite toy? What? Did you say something? Can you please say it again? This was a seminary and it was built in the 1780s. Then it became the Union School sometime in the 1800s. And after that, it became an elementary school. Oh, I can show you where everybody was attacked. I'd say it was within our first week, week and a half of having the place. One of our newer team members on Underground Paranormal Network got attacked. It was like pressure, someone forcing you down by the shoulders, and then mass chest tightening in your chest and huge panic attacks. So that's one way they've been attacked. And then during the event um, that we held last summer, this one guy, Dante, he got burnt. It looked like he was burned from here to here. It looked like something laid on him. And it, you could see it forming as it was going. It wasn't no scratch or nothing, but you could see it like looked like a burn mark. It was insane. He screamed real loud, freaked out, and he went and sat outside and refused to come back into school. Uh, after 40 minutes of being in here, he was done. One of my team members was scratched down his back, real nice, deep, welded scratch you could see it from within inside the skin one girl during the public event come running out of the dark room and she stood outside about by the road and stayed out there all night said she's not coming back in because something did that to her same thing pressure on the shoulders tightness in the chest and pa mass panic attack felt like somebody stabbed me with a knife like in the back here in the kidney area I've been threatened so many times to get pushed down the stairs. It's not funny, they're gonna push me down the stairs, they're gonna kill me. This will be the most active area in the whole school. We call this the dark room because it's the only room that's boarded up and it's always dark. The most active, this seems to be where everyone congregates. 200 times investigating this place, I finally got an answer of what this room was. The priest, one of the priests said, this is the chapel. So that would make sense why everybody would want to congregate in here. The activity in this room can get crazy. Multiple people have been attacked. This would also be one of the most active rooms in the school. We just call it the mirror room just because there's a great big mirror here. There's something I don't like about this mirror. It don't belong here, it never did belong here. Don't know where it came from. I think they use this traveling in and out of, I don't know. It's seen something, I'll, I'll say that. We've had some crazy activity in this room also. Some people have been messed with in this room as well. The more any team investigates a place, the darker it gets. Because we don't know what these teams are doing when, we, when I leave them in here. And we have captured people whistling. We hear that a lot, somebody whistling. But yeah, this is a very calm room. It's the most friendly room in the school. Never had anything bad happen in here. I think the music teacher doesn't allow it. So any, anybody that he don't want in here, he don't let them in here. So that'd be my theory. Now this room is where we, he calls himself this. We didn't make this up. So don't laugh at me when I say this. He calls himself Bob the Boiler Man. He got burned up with an explosion from the boiler. So he is one confirmed death. He died in the hospital though, not here. But he got burned up pretty bad. She describes him as a very large man, uh, about 6'5", and she says he's not all there. So this would have been, his job would have been like keeping the boiler going and stuff like that for the school. She says he's very angry, he's quick to fly off the handle, and he's probably one of the people that attack people, most likely. We walked in this room and we found him walking out all alone, all drooped over, and he come in confused and he starts screaming, what's he doing in this room? What's he doing in this room? He didn't walk in here. And then just totally walked outside and refused to come back in, 40 minutes into the investigation. My team member Chris was standing right here and he got ripped right down the back. Ten people was in here witnessing it, welting. They was all like, holy shit, and five minutes later, that's when it got Dante. And then my daughter. 
my oldest daughter, squeezed her neck and left a handprint. Nice red handprint on her neck. Captured a little boy running around these chairs. Yay tall, I got a picture of it on my phone actually. He caught a shadow figure, had to have been 12 feet tall, and it wasn't on a wall, it was in the middle of the room. Everybody sees the shadow person in the hallways, staircases and hallways. The shadow guy showed himself in the doorway over here and just stood there. And then when they noticed him, he ducked back and then peeked back around the corner. They were done. They quit, they were done. There's little things about three feet tall. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. And they crawl on the walls. They call them crawlers. First day I was here, it was broad daylight, but a shadow darted. It was like standing right here as I was over there in that doorway. And it darted in this room. I was like, I saw that, that was crazy. I wasn't here 15, 20 minutes. I climbed up at once. One of the nuns actually said, I'll cut your face off. <laughs> Class A EVP. Right there at that door we came through. Yeah. Now you see the, he had like white shoes, white pants, walked across. That's weird you say that because I was walking that dark room. Back there. I, I just turned and looked and I seen like the bottom of the legs. White I'll pants, show you white something when we're not on camera. White shoes, walked um, past. That's pretty much the school. What the fuck? What? Something just fucking hit me. It's the biggest. It just hit my fucking arm. Something touched your arm? It fucking hit it. Like, yeah, that's where you set up. And it flew past my face. <gasps> hit my book bag. I told you. I heard that. Did you? F yeah, I heard it. My name is Josh. This is Rocky and Luke. We're gonna be here with you tonight. We've got alarms down in the room that's got mirrors. Did you hear that bang? I did hear that down there, that's why I pointed. I thought I heard a voice. Can you uh, make that noise again? So right now we're at Middle Point School. We're just now getting stuff set up, all the alarms and stuff. And we're already documenting stuff. Rocky felt something hit him and then something run past him. What is that? That sounds like something like wooden. It don't yeah, mean. it's like. Let's get shit set up. If anybody's down here with Rocky and I, we're here to talk to you tonight. We know that you've scared other investigators. Can you communicate with us? Are you down here with us? What do you say, they had people burnt and scratched down here? Did you burn somebody that was down here? Why do you hurt people that come down here? Are there kids down here? The school's kind of dirty. You're not doing a very good job keeping it clean. It is freaking dark down here, isn't it? Can you touch one of us? That's the creepy thing. If you look out there, you literally can't see your hand in front of your face. Bob? Is that you? Bob, we need help. This is where a guy was burnt. 
and another guy was scratched. Who did that to them? Are you not down here? Where are you at? It sounded like walking was above us, didn't it? Yeah. Right now we're in the gym and right out here on the gym floor people have seen like spirits running around in circles and stuff. And then they've seen full body apparitions over on the stage. We got an alarm over there by the seats. Can you set our alarm off? Anybody in here, you're gonna have to come out and talk to us. I don't know why the equipment just turned on. They said they've seen you down here. We've got a couple of alarms. If you come sit in this chair next to me, it'll light up. My name is Josh. Can you tell us your name? Did you go to school here? Are there any teachers in here? I guess there's teachers in here. Did you sit down next to me? You can come sit down again. You want to set your camera up down here and we'll go up to the top floor, all three of us? Uh, I just want to investigate with you guys. That's what I'm saying if you leave that or you want to film. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the creepy floor, I think, out of all of them, don't you? Yeah. We're back up here. You touched Rocky earlier. Where are you at? We've got several alarms up here. Can you walk past them? I hear like something moving over there, so that they... That was loud. Yeah. It's getting colder in this hallway. That's a temperature sensor going off, dude. It's confirming what we just said. It is ice cold. I got a camera facing that I'm freezing too. If you were- I mean, it, it just feels like an ice box completely around me right now. Yeah. If you were affecting us with your presence with the temperature, can you make that device beep again like you just did? The f was that? I heard that. You hear it? Mm -hmm. It's weird. What? Yeah. Dude, I bet it dropped 15 degrees in like a split second. I'm telling you, I'm freezing. Oh, it's all right here too. It's like... Yeah, I can't 
can I can feel difference just reaching out right here. But not right here. Literally. I'm shivering because it's so cold. We know you're up here. We can feel it with the temperature change. There it goes. I heard that again. We've got an alarm down there with a the mirror. Can you set our alarm off? That's mine. That's my bell meter. Thank you. Let's just stand right there at that doorway. I have a recorder going. If you're a student here, can you tell me what subject you like here? Something just went right by that camera, I think. We want to see you. Right here. Show yourself. You've scared other investigators and people that's came inside this school. We're not afraid of you. Ooh, everything's going off. If, if it's beeping like that, that means something is really focusing on that temperature thing. If it was a red pod, you would see the different lights on it. This hallway is definitely got a dark energy to it. See, it doesn't feel evil, but it doesn't feel welcoming. Luke said that he's not afraid of you. I don't have a problem with any of these spirits, not at all. You all have a purpose, just like we do. Are you hurting people because you feel like this is your home and you don't want people trespassing on it? Let's move down here, Rocky, a little bit closer to this. You don't scare your off, foot. though. Huh? Did you scoot your foot? Uh-uh. That sounded like something might scoot in that car. I didn't, I didn't move my foot. Okay, let's leave that camera on there. Where are you at? Rocky said he's seen you earlier. Who is the man wearing all white? This is the man in all white. Are you a member of staff here? Hey, it's in here. Where? Whatever's over here. Room. Your room? Mm hmm. Rock. Let's go check that camera real quick. And then we'll hit this room. I think that's our alarm going off too. I heard something out in the hallway. Yeah, it was out in the hallway. It's like something hit something. That's weird. Whoever you are, whatever you are, make yourself known right now. Hit something really hard for us. If you are a human spirit, can you make a noise so we can hear it through our ears or make one of those devices beep? That wasn't you. So you're human. That's good. Are you angry? Is that why? And they, the, there's a lot of negative energy up here because you're really mad about something. If that's true, can you make a noise we can hear it or make one of those devices beep? You hear walking in your audio, Rocky? No. You heard walking? So they're angry. There's from the seminary here. If so, do the same thing like you were. Just make those devices beep or make a noise so we can hear it. Yeah. Well, at least they like us.
But if it's setting these devices off, it's got to be right here. I tell you, dude, that hallway feels even worse than this one. Who is the guy that Rocky seen earlier? Are you afraid to show yourself now? Have you already showed yourself to us, but we didn't notice it at the time? What the heck was that? Where was that at? It was over there. I can't see you. It was right over there, dude. You heard that though, right? Yeah. <laughs> spooky. Why are you not going in front of our cameras? Are you afraid of our equipment? If the person in white is all here again, can you make a noise for us so we can hear or make one of those devices over there beep? Dude, it's really cold right here. Well, let's stand in this doorway and let's just be quiet for a second and not ask anything. You can definitely hear it on the wood floors. Can you walk in here with us? What? I don't know, it looked like something no. came out of that door. I'm telling you something standing behind me. It looked like something came out of that door. I don't know, is that the bottom? I don't know. That temperature light on things. How far back can you see, Rocky? I see all the way down the hall. This is where you um, seen that person, right? No, that was back there. Rocky didn't come out. It is so fucking cold right here. Did Rocky just see you? It was like a black mass that shot over your head, Josh. Yeah, that went off too. Come up and touch me. I dare you. I know one thing, this is one creepy ass hallway. Are you back here? Is that mirror a portal? I almost felt like uh, static electricity in my right hand. Are you near me? I didn't like school when I was in school. Are you one of the nuns? I just think the dark energy here is probably people coming in and investigating and doing crazy shit. Who just whistled? You want to try an SB7 session, Rocky? I'm going to restart this. Okay, we're in the room that's got the mirror in it. There's been full body apparitions caught in here. My name is Josh, this is Rocky and Luke. Can you tell us your name? Where are we at right now? 
Who is inside this school? Why did you say Rocky's name? Do you like Rocky? Yes. I heard yes, then I heard no. Why don't you like Rocky? Yes, not scary. Did you touch Rocky earlier? Sounds like a woman said I did. You want Rocky to stay up here by himself? Keep saying your name. I think it said Rocky stay. I think it said Rocky stay. Where do you want Rocky to stay at? You want it here? Huh? It said right here. The lawn's going off. Do you keep setting our alarm off? Hey Rocky. You know what we should do? Let's bring that other ink box up here. And we'll set you in front of the mirror with cameras and stuff. Can you tell me your name? Do you stuck here? Yeah. Like you died in the basement. Pretty. Oh. Somebody get burned up in the basement? Who was setting our arms off?
I need to know, yes or no, is Summer Wells dead? <laughs> Who hurt Summer? How was she hurt? Was she kidnapped by somebody she knew? Was Summer kidnapped? Did a family member hurt Summer Wells? Can we speak to Summer Wells? That was creepy. Yeah, it was. Is it yes? It said something. What is Summer near? Does Summer's mom know what happened to her? Did her mom hurt her? Summer, are you still alive? Guys, see where Summer is. What are you near? It's not like it said water. Is it a creek or river? Is it near the house? What is the name of the river? How did she die? Who hurt Summer? Is she near the house? Do you know the name of the road? We have devices recording. I can hear your voice. Can you tell us what your involvement in this building is? What the fuck was that? Grab that camera right there. What the fuck? It was like a whaling or some shit, dude. Who was that? Dude, that was so loud. It was like a fucking screech.
This one's over there. Where? I heard a thump noise over there on the other side. Where the stairs would be. The man we seen earlier. Show yourself. Hit something. Who made that loud screeching sound earlier? Can you make a noise so we can hear it? To confirm that all these noises were, are you? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it's from that mirror. Did you hear that walking over there? Dude, it's literally like this. That's like the school's in session right now. Luke's not afraid of you. I just like to see your guys' side of what you're going through. I don't think... I think you guys are mad about something that... <laughs> oh, dude, that's the EDI. I think you guys are mad about something. I think you're mad about. I think you guys feel maybe people come here and disrespect you guys too much. I think that's why you attack people because you feel like they offended you. If that's true, can you make another noise so we can hear it? The spirit making that EDI go off? Oh, um. Are you a male? If so, can you make it stop? Thank you. Whoever was knocking on shit earlier, can you do that again? I heard that. Two knocks. Yep, behind you. Who are you? Why are you here? Are you happy here? I kind of just want to like a little tiny mist right by the eye. It was like right here. It's really weird. I kind of swore us. Hit something for us again. Knocking. Yeah. It's almost like right after. Like you barely finish your question. Can you make your footsteps hurt for us? Back down that hallway. I heard that, yeah. Let's walk back that way. Just keep going back that way. Can you come up and touch Luke? Don't hesitate. You can touch me however you want. Balls in your court. Set that device off in front of Luke. You're really good at setting devices off. What is that? Touching is touching. Did you see sparkles of light up there? Mm -mm. It could have just been my eyes playing tricks on me, but I thought I saw that. Yeah. 
Where's that dark room? Isn't that right down here, back towards the table? Let's go check that out real quick. Yeah. Leave our alarms out here. All right. All right, that's something noise. Let's go try to find the dark room. Is it this? I can't see you. Did you hear that though? Move your light for a second. There you go. What did you hear? It's like a. <gasps> it's like. Oh. Is that the dark room there right behind you? I don't know. I don't think so. Can you make a noise so we can hear it again? Come stand over here. Okay. Probably our lights are blowing you out. So you're the eye blink. You spares want to make this device my hand light up. All you gotta do is come close to it. Did you know there? Mm-hmm. Think me and Josh are being respectful to all you spirits here? If you think we are, can you make a noise for us to answer yes? What'd you hear? It's like tapping, like I can't mimic it, but it's like shadow. Is that a fan over there? Mm-hmm. It's like, on top of the fan to the right, I could have swore I saw a shadow. Not like a figure, but it was like a mass. Let like this device in my hand light up. You know what's weird is all the devices were going off earlier. Yeah. And now they're not going off. Yeah. It's also kind of a good thing because I would prove that that was paranormal earlier. Mm -hmm. It's not just the devices. So that's, yeah, that's significant. We're going to be leaving soon. It's your last chance to do something for us. Don't want to have regrets. So if you really want to do something that stands out to us, don't hesitate to do it. Is there any nuns up here with us? Anyone from the seminary area of the building? 